So how are you going? It's the 22nd of June, it's about midday. This is the UK's heart facility in Carpal Dewey, Aberystwyth, Wales. There's not really much to say is there, just um, I'll try and give you a good view of it. It's much larger than what, what's expected, you know, when you see the picture of it on the satellite maps or something. Uh, yeah, it looks quite small, but it's actually quite big. The gates are um, very sealed off, warning signs everywhere, it's cameraed up. Um, there's lots of cameras, there's a hut there, there's been a car behind the hut, you know, for a couple of days sort of thing, so it's almost like there's someone living in there or something, living security, I don't know what. But yeah, it's in a beautiful area, it's nicely tucked away. If you drove past it, uh, driving east, then you just wouldn't notice it. When you drive west along the road, um, you can see it through the gate just, but you'd probably just treat it more like iron gates than an array of antennas. You know, it's, um, yeah, it's an interesting one. It's nicely tucked out of the way, definitely. You know, you'd really need to know to know it's there. You can imagine people in the local area, if they, they do not come down this road, they don't have a clue, you know. But maybe people do know in the area, you know. But if they do, they should be researching HARP and HARP facilities around the world and what they really are. When people say, oh, this is only putting out a small amount of power and things like that, it's negligible, it's the same as your tumble dryer, which is rubbish, of course, you know, you can see the power packs there and stuff. But at the end of the day, it's like when something's putting out power, it's affecting the, the atmosphere. So it's not supposed to be there. That's modifying the atmosphere. It's no different when it's if it's a gigawatt one in Gakona or a megawatt one here or whatever the power output is. It don't matter. It's the same process, same principle. So there you go anyway. There's your um your view of harp in Wales there. Don't forget the sheep. And don't forget the sheep, that's right. talking to Lorraine about um, and she was saying about if you look at the trees basically on the right here you can see that the trees are quite healthy and they're at the very edge of the antenna array okay over there is another set of trees and they look quite healthy and they're on the edge of the antenna array but if we go and look at the trees that are in the center of the antenna array right so you can see that's in the center and there's a stream here hopefully you're going to be able to hear it as I go closer so now let's take a look Obviously you can see, look, and we're on Midsummer's Day as well, you know, I mean, you can see there's bare leaves, you can see it's brown, I'll give you a close up here, it looks brown, it looks scorched. You know, stuff's growing, but there's a freshwater stream there, going past it, so this one's not looking too happy either. Maybe it's a late bloomer, eh? <laughs> but yeah, you know, most of it looks alright sort of thing, but that's, whether that's uh, connected to anything or not, 
don't know. It's also worth noting on the other side you can see it better that kind of there are weeds growing sort of here and there but then there's whole patches of just like brown dirt. Don't know whether it's weed killer sprayed you know if they're going to spray weed killer to deal with weeds then they're going to do the whole thing it's not just going to happen in sort of little bits of patches is it? It's going to be looked after properly and don't do sort of like 25% of something and leave 75% to carry on doing what he's doing do you? So the, the earth looks very scorched. I'll try and get a video of that from the other side. Well, try, I will, <laughs> if I remember. Bye.